Are you done with your flow chart? Have you done the mirror drawing? Now it is time to put your algorithmic thinking to a game. We are going to go back into Google Drawings and you are going to turn your algorithm into a board game. In the Google Classroom, you've got a file that looks like this. It's called Game Board. And you can see there are a few things here that are started for you. You've got your start arrow, you've got some game pieces, and you have a YouTube video where you can roll the dice. And that's your number. Click again, it plays. Click again, it stops. Your job is to add shapes to the game board so that players can roll the dice and move the game pieces in order to make a game out of your algorithm where you completed a simple task. My example was making a peanut butter sandwich. So I will make the peanut butter sandwich board game. I'm going to do it by grabbing some shapes. I'm just going to make it simple and use a rectangle. And I will make a rectangle shape. There it is. And I can adjust this how I want. I can have a stick of border as I want. And I can fill it in with whatever color I want. And then if I'm going to put any text in the board game, since I think it is smart in order to reduce the complexity to be efficient, I am going to uh, make a copy of this and paste it the way I want. So let me first set up my text to go centered and in the middle of my shape. Now I can control C copy, control V paste, control V paste, control V paste, control V paste. And I can set up these table squares. If I need more space, I can set just and put them in the If I want to turn the corner, I can uh, just simply put in a little arrow like I would with my flow chart. Or maybe I, if I want to right click, I can change the shape, go to the shapes and maybe, oh, I'll choose this to be a curved shape. And with this little diamond, I can adjust the curve. There, now I have a curved shape that lets the player know we're gonna go down. And as I make more of these squares, then I can move it that way and so on and so forth until the end. And now I have to add some text that lets the player know how they're going, how they're doing in the path of the algorithm. I might just say, hey, if you roll the one, you need to wait until next turn. There we go. Now, if I need instructions that take too much space, I can simply click and I can say, hey, 14 point is too big. I want to reduce the size of my text. If I want it all to be the same, I'll just highlight all of these and then select the same size text. Now that you've seen the basics, here's an example of a game board I put together. This is the game of my algorithm, how to make a peanut butter sandwich. I started by adding the steps of my algorithm that were necessary. Get the ingredients, a knife to spread, put the slices next to each other, scoop out the peanut butter with a knife, and so on. And then I filled in steps that would make it a game around there. And I represented a loop um, of spreading the peanut butter on the bread by these statements here. Not enough, go back one space. Still not enough, go back two spaces, and so on. I added instructions down here. Hey. Are the instructions themselves an algorithm? And 
I added an ending spot. Have some fun with your game. Make the instructions. Again, leave the video here unless you think you have a better one, but there's a trick in adding a video to a Google Drawing. You cannot insert a video like you can in Google Slides or Docs. Hmm, how would you do it? I'll give you that secret later. Here is a pro tip though, your game pieces. If you use the same ones or if you add new ones, make sure they're among the last things added. Highlight all your game pieces, cut, and then paste. If they are the last things added, when you move them, then they will stay on top of your board game. If your game pieces are first, they will end up underneath your game board when you try and move them. By the way, Control Z puts anything back in case you move part of your game. And when you're done playing and the game is all done, you can always go to File, Version History, C Version History, and you can go back to the version that you started the day with. If you restore that version, you'll have your game board back the way it was. So that is your Google Drawings algorithm game assignment. Good luck. I look forward to seeing some awesome games.